You gonna take a nap right here on air? Yeah. All right. As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. It's not at eight ounces. Uh, if it goes to eight, you know, 8.5 or whatever, then we're gonna pay quite a bit more in shipping. Oh, geez. You all right? Yeah. Scooch. Oh, wait, you're all right. You can be there, I guess. Three, two, one, action. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the eBay Cave. This is Kevin and the homeschool hustlers, Turner and Reagan, and Sophie's over there, too. And we're going to do a little bit of shipping today. Um, Reagan's been helping me with shipping a little bit, kind of teaching her how to do a few things. And Turner is jealous, so he wanted to come today, and he wanted to do a little shipping, too, when we're done. So let's get to it. You guys want to hand me a few things yeah. when I go? All right, grab one thing, Turner, and hand it to me, and I'll uh, try and find it and show them what they got here. So, all right, so this this goes way back, y'all. This goes back to the uh, one of the earliest videos that I did uh, about uh, some vintage toys and Tim the Toy Man, and I talk about this way back in, the, in a couple months ago when I first started doing videos, and this guy sold for... $17.88 plus shipping, so around $22, $23 on that one. And it was a bundle, so I'm not quite sure the cost of that one. And it's Heath, Heathcliff uh, Push Puppet, and Push Puppets are pretty good. Um, if you ever find them, pretty good money on the Push Puppets. Um, for some of them, you gotta look them up. The generic ones aren't quite as good, so. All right, what else we got? This is this was a throw-in. This was a freebie in a free box, and it is a uh, Funko Pop Pets, and it's obviously a loose figure. It's not in a box, and it still went, went for just under ten dollars. It was a free item, so it should be about five dollars and fifty cents. So, all right, what's next? Give me another one, bud. Virginia Tech. This is a Blue Ridge Mama thrift find, and it is a corduroy Virginia Tech hat. And I'm see if there's a name brand in it. University Square. Uh, made in the USA, clearly vintage, and this was a dollar buy at the Goodwill, and it sold for $29.95, and I don't know if that has shipping or not, I have to look that one up, so $29.95 for that hat, and that's a, a terrific profit for something as simple as that. We've been doing real well with hats lately, and some people asked about how do we box up the hat, so what I typically do is I take... I take a poly envelope and I put it, I put the hat in the poly envelope. I do not ship it like that. I just put it in there to, I don't even really know why I put it in there. It looks better. And then I'll put it in a box. Now, I have some specific boxes that I use um, that I know it'll protect the hat enough. You know, if it gets a little smashed, it's not the end of the world. It just can't get crushed. And it's light enough that it'll keep, between the hat and the box, it'll keep it just about eight ounces. And if it's not at eight ounces, uh, if it goes to eight, you know, 8.5 or whatever, then we're gonna pay quite a bit more in shipping. <laughs> oh, geez. You all right? Yeah. So Yay. I try to keep it at eight ounces. One of the little tricks I do is take the bottom flaps and you cut just a little bit of the cardboard off until you get to the, to the weight that you wanna be at. So do a little trimming of that cardboard. Sometimes it'll save you a buck, so. All right, that's how we do that. Next item, what do you got? This is a great one. It's a great Halloween item too. And this was in the Daniel's Big Adventure yard sale, Daniel's first time out yard sailing. And this was a total accident buy. I went back into the yard sale. I don't even think I had my GoPro on. And I was going back in there looking for some records, see if I could get a great deal on some records because it was the end of the day. And I just happened to look by this little uh, box and a couple kids playing there and somebody sitting in a lawn chair. And I saw this and it was opened up and there are little cubes, they're little blocks. And we had done pretty well with blocks, different kinds of blocks, um, selling them in the booth. And so I thought, well, 
see how much it is they said 50 cents and i'm like i have no idea but you know i know we put these in a jar or something they'll sell in the booth lo and behold i get home and i look these up and they have pretty good value brand new ones have excellent value but this is seems to be a pretty scarce item and it's made by uncle goose if you ever see that out there pick it up it's a pretty good little bolo they sold it for get them out and give me an accurate number here 32.95 plus shipping for that 50 cent buy so that's a great little buy all right what do you got rain no it's not holding oh bat it. oh it's turner's turn all right yeah. give me this turner i'm all gonna right. give you that that's what i wanted to give you <laughs> this is a retail arbitrage item at uh, i believe home depot after halloween 250 i think is what i paid for it and it went out i think for right around 16 dollars. it'll stay first class not a ton of money um, but there were multiples of this so it's halloween time guys halloween is selling you'll notice i have my uh i don't know if you can see this or not but this is from the happy little accident buy and i'm hoping to get around 200 for for the headless horseman um, from department 56 with all the other accessories that go with it um, new one or not even new ones just used ones that are in the box have gone as much as two 250 so I'm thinking without the box maybe I can get around 200 maybe not but Halloween stuff if you have it it's time to sell it all right and last but not least I think this is last anyways no nah, I didn't sell actually I'm taking pictures of it is this uh, vintage Easton bat this is looks like a uh, softball bat um, these old Easton's will sell uh, if you're a baseball player like me, you'll look back and, uh, and remember a particular bat that you used as a kid. And, and some people buy it for that reason. Some people just liked it, so they'll, they'll play softball with it later or, or whatever. So this one was pretty good. I picked it up for a dollar at a yard sale quite a while ago. It took a long time to sell. Uh, it's an EA70 Plus 34-inch bat. And it softball bat. And it sold for $24.71. So after fees and everything, it's about a $21 profit on that. So I like that one. And it'll fit in some tubes that you need to get from USPS.com. So at any rate, thanks for joining us. Y'all want to say goodbye? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. We got the cat. cat. Whoop, we already got the cat. Oh, did we? That's a Siamese cat. Did we get Yeah, did that's we like already? RVA flips. So he's got the, the real cat? deal. Did we do the cat? Yeah. Mm, we did the cat. Oh. Are right, you going to tell them all that? We got a lot of new subscribers lately. Yeah. Will you yeah. tell them? Say, we got some new subscribers from, from Part Time Pickers and Thrifting 101. We do got you, some new subs from. Uh, do you have to do this short? Nope, don't have to do that. From Thrift Mine out there. And I got a sub, and I don't know your name out there. A new sub that showed me I got some pictures of your dog right there on your avatar. And so, where's Sophie? Did she run away? Yeah. So, we thought we'd put Sophie and let you take a look at our pup. So, at any rate, thank you for joining us out there. And don't forget to subscribe below. One, six, wait. One, fifty, one, five, okay. nine. Okay. Can you get one of these padded? Yeah. Right there? We're going to put it in there. Can I do one? Make something to show? Yeah. Okay, first, hold on. Let's get one of these first. Okay. And let's put it in one of these. And zip it on up. I need a key. Okay, and then put it in there. Okay. You want one of the cards in there? Mm hmm. Okay. I Actually, I want you to tape it to the okay. front. Did he get that tape? Yeah, he got it. My hand waste. My hand waste. So where'd you put the tape? One. Wait. Where'd you do with the tape? What'd you do with the tape? Did you bring it in here? Yeah. Here it is.
Here. Help them out. Smash it down on there. Wait, you got... Mm. Okay, you'll work everything. Can I pick something? Can I do this? Certainly, that's why you have to do, because that was all bent up. Mm, I don't know how we're going to ship that. Okay, tell me how much this weighs. This one? Which mm -hmm. one? How much does it weigh? Uh, 24. For the package, this one. Okay. 